So he always wanted a sliding barn door but didn't want to spend a lot of money. Have I got a deal for you. It's a salvage door that I bashed out the panels and put in some expanded metal. This is a door for my pantry. And it was fairly simple to figure out. Got some inch and a half steel from Tractor Supply and some bolts and a, uh, some lag bolts. And the magic ingredient is the wheel. And I salvaged those from some roller blades from Goodwill. And one pair of roller blades will net you eight wheels. So it's enough for four doors. <clears throat> you can get a close up on that. You'll see it's just a bolt with a couple of nuts to space it out. They have great bearings, they roll nice and quiet. And then the track is also pretty simple. It's a piece of oak salvaged from a four foot pallet with two pieces of quarter round facing side to side and makes the track. You gotta leave enough enough space between them for the wheel to roll. So it's about an inch and three-eighths deep and you leave enough space from the ceiling so you can fit your wheel in when you're done. So I've drilled these out with a drill press or you can use hand drill. They're, the straps are ten and a half inches long. On this door it wanted to lean in so I used a a third wheel at the bottom is a guide, so it rolls nice and smooth. <clears throat> For the handle, I just used a salvage brass uh, finial plate, and I soldered a, a doorknob to it, so it doesn't turn. It's just a it's just a handle you can grab. So there you go. Total outlay. 20 bucks. Pottery Burn, eat your heart out.